Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today is gonna be a get ready with me from literally start to finish. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to do myself tanner as well because I am partnering with Loving Tan for this video. They sent me a box of goodies to show my self tanner application and all of that. And if you know me and have been following me, you know that I use Loving Tan. I have been using Loving Tan. It's the only self tanner that I have found that I love and consistently rebuy. So I was super excited when they reached out to me to do a video and a little partnership. Um, so yeah, I got a little box of goodies, which is so amazing. Amazing because as I just said, I use Loving Tan and I'm always rebuying it. I always get questions on what self tanner I use, how I look so tan and all of that and it's literally Loving Tan. I do not lay out in the sun. Even when I go on vacation, I'll lay out but I have like 50 plus SPF sunscreen on. I do not care to get a tan from the sun anymore. Um, so I haven't had like a real tan in probably years. So I use Loving Tan Self Tanner and I'm gonna show you how I apply it and then also just kind of finish getting ready for the day, which I'm not doing anything, I'm not going anywhere, we are in quarantine, I'm gonna sit and paint nails for six hours, but I'm gonna get ready anyways. So the one that I'm gonna be using today is the Two Hour Express in the shade Dark. I use dark and it's really not that dark. I started off using medium because I was like nervous that dark would be way too dark, but when you see me with a pretty fresh tan, it's gonna be the dark color and it's really not not that dark. They also have the regular deluxe bronzing mousse, which is more of like a over time gradual tan, whereas this is the two hour express. And you can see it pretty much instantly. So I'm gonna do some like pictures and side by sides to show you um, how quickly this shows. This one actually, it does show as well just the regular one it does have like a tint to it that you see right away but it does gradually enhance over time um and they did send me a few of like the lotion ones which i have never used actually so for this video i'm going to be using the one that i always use just because i know how it works <laughs> um, i know how to apply it and all of that and also um they have a face one never used their face tan before so it's just this deluxe face tan this is in the shade dark as well, so I don't know if this is going to be too dark or not, but I've never done it on my face, so I don't know. But anyways, so I'm just going to start out by doing this, dry my hair, put some makeup on, and get dressed. And we'll kind of just see the final results. And I will come back in like two hours or three hours and show you like the final, final results. But you can see pretty instantly um, some color change. Okay, and then one last thing, I do have a discount code for this video. Um, my code is gonna be Page Mitt in all caps. And if you buy any mousse or gradual tanner, um, you get a free mitt, which these mitts are the best, honestly, the deluxe applicator mitts. I always use this, even when I was trying other brands, I still use the Loving Tan mitt. Um, but again, I just, I always come back to Loving Tan. It's the one that I like the best. So I do have a code, I'll put it down below as well. Um, but let's just get into it. I will show you a before, during, and after. So see you in a second. Okay, so before we get started, I don't do this every time, but this does help with creating like splotchiness. Um, I apply like a tiny bit of lotion to the spots, like my knees, my knuckles, uh, my elbows and ankles and stuff like that to help the tan not bunch there. So I don't do this every time. Sometimes I'm super lazy, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video. But yeah, that's a way to kind of like reduce the splotchiness that sometimes can happen when you go over those areas with self tanner. So applying that and let's get into it. Okay, so I changed my bikini so that it's easier to tan in. I took some before pictures so then I can take some after as well and I'll put them side by side. Here's the mitt. It's super like soft, so nice. So here's the process in which I do my tanning. I do my arms and then I go onto my chest and then I do my stomach and then I do my legs. That's just how I do it. I don't think it really matters how you do it um, in terms of order, but that is how I do it. So I usually do like one and a half to two squirts. As you can see, it has color to it. So I just kind of go ahead, kind of use circular motions. 
Maybe I'll just do one half of my body right now to show you guys. So you can see the difference. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, that's way too hard. So we move on to the other arm. And I try to like lightly brush over my hands and my elbows just to like avoid punching or I don't know what you really call it, tan gathering there. Okay, so now I move on to the stomach. And again, I'll just kind of like lightly dust over my foot. So you can already see the difference between my two legs. This really does show up pretty much instantly. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish up and then I will be back to show you the like final tanning results and then just finish getting ready and we are going to take on the day. Okay, so now the tan is fully on. We already have some color and I will show you guys again in two hours, maybe three, how it finishes up. But this definitely has like instant color to it. And then I also did wanna show you guys as well, they have a hand removing like exfoliant polishing glove, which is super, super helpful because typically I don't use anything to get my tan off. I will just let it fade off. Um, and sometimes I'll be applying my tan on top of like a half off tan and then it just kind of can look messy. So this is super helpful to get all of your tan off and start fresh. I would say I was about 95% back to my normal like skin um, for this video. I think I still had a tiny, tiny bit left over. I haven't done it in like a week because I was preparing for this video. I apply it typically two to three times a week depending on like how much I think I need. But that's kind of usually how it goes. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I will be back to show you the final results and the final tan result. super quick I'm not gonna put it in this video I'm just going to fast forward to it so I'll see you in a second with makeup on okay makeup is done I am gonna get dressed I'm not gonna do my hair actually I was gonna curl it but I decided I'm just gonna wear it in a ponytail straight so yeah that is it for that and then we just have to pick an outfit and then we're good to go we are ready for nothing but tan is coming along nicely it'll be back when I'm getting dressed and see you then. Okay, so it's a few hours later. This is going to be the final result of the two hour tanner. Honestly, it's so, I think it's like the perfect color. I was always afraid that dark would be too dark, but this is how it looks. I think it's really, really nice. And this is like the color that I always go for. If you guys want to check out Loving Tan, use my code PAGEMIT for a free mint. This is the final result. I just wanted to show you guys after, you know, I had time to settle. And yeah, that's kind of it. Okay, so it's time to get dressed. How I typically style my outfits is usually I'll have one thing in mind. I'm really set on wearing a certain top or I'm really set on wearing certain pants and then I build my outfit around that. So for me, I knew I wanted to wear these pants. <laughs> these are from Misguided. Um, and I actually have never worn this top from Pretty Little Thing. It is new and I haven't even tried it on yet. So I was like, let me just go with like a neutral outfit. We'll do brown on brown. And then I have my like one belt <laughs> that I wear. White boots from Pretty Little Thing. So I kind of just like start with one piece and then kind of build from there. Instead of trying to like imagine a whole outfit together, I like pick one starting piece and then kind of build off of that. So I'm gonna throw this on. We're literally gonna just get ready for nothing. So be right back. Okay, we are dressed. Um, this top is a little wonky. Like it's kind of big right here, but I wanted to try to show off the tan a little. I feel like this is overall kind of a cute outfit. So here we go.
we're ready to go downstairs and paint some nails. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Comment down below with any questions that you have about loving tan or anything in general. I love you guys so much. I hope that you are all hanging in there and doing okay. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>